Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Mazar Abdul Malik versus Desko Todorovic. Uh, Mazar 6-0, minus 375 favorite, 27 years old, 6-2 with an 80-inch reach, fighting Desko Todorovic, who's 12-4, 2-3 in his last five fights. Plus 280. There's no reason for Mansoor to be 3 to 1. I understand Dusko's not great. I get it. But the performance that Mavzar, Man, Mansoor put on in, in that contender series fight, that didn't impress me. Wes Schultz, he didn't look very good. And he was getting, Malik was getting tagged a little bit. He was getting tired a little bit. And, you know, uh, Dusko, you know, lost the decision to Gregory Rodriguez. Beat uh, Matt Mackey, Patello, that really doesn't mean nothing. Got destroyed by Chitty and Jaquani. Beat Jordan Wright and then lost to Christian Leroy Duncan by knee injury. This is his first fight since then. 6-1 with a 74-inch reach. 6 inch reach for Mansoor with a 1-inch reach advantage also for Malik. So, again, even though Dusko isn't great, and I think everybody knows this, you know, he's 3-4 and four in the UFC. He's been finished three times, even though one of them is an injury. But still, 11 finishes of his 12 wins. He also has seven first-round finishes. Mansoor, this is a great debut opponent because we already know that Desko's not going to back down from him. He's going to go right at him, and he's going to, you know, figure it out. So, Born in 97. Boy, does that make me feel old. Jesus. Six finishes. He also has five first-round finishes. The West Schultz one was the one he went to a second round. Again, the issue with saying, talking about his five first-round finishes is 1-0, 2-2, 2-5, 0-0, 0-1. He's fought nobody. The one guy that he fought, West Schultz, who was 6-1, by the way, Not a great performance. Very, very overhyped. Is he a genetic freak? Yes. Yes. It doesn't mean he should, for one, be a 3-1 to one, uh, a favorite against a guy that has, what, seven fights? This is his eighth one? Come on. Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't win. I'm just saying the hype-wise for this guy is pretty fucking ridiculous, to be honest. Mansoor, Abdul Malik... Probably gets it done early. I think if, if this fight goes past that midway through the second to the third round, I think we're going to see Malik get really tired and Dusko trying to trying to finish him. So, Mansoor, early finish. I like Malik a lot in this one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not as high on him at all. So, let's see what he can do. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.